Yes, I got one. What is that? Oh my gosh, a speckled. It's a speckled trout. Look at him. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. It's my first time catching one too. And he got teeth. <laughs> this is my first time catching one of these. Really? Everybody goes for these to eat, but it's small, no? Yeah. They oh, don't really yeah, get, yeah. they don't get that big though. They get teeth. That's like the fangs. Uh -oh, okay, now he's gonna let him go. Alright, we might catch some live bait then. Wow. We're at the hidden lake. But right now we're fishing the canal beside it because I always catch fish here. So we're gonna see if we can catch a fish, a quick fish. So here's the plan. We're not really here to target bass. We might try, but that's not our target. We're gonna try to target gar and carp. Weird combo, but I brought I brought some corn and I brought some gar bait. And I'm gonna try to catch fresh bait too. I don't know if there's gar here or not, but I have heard that there is gar here. That is what we're dealing with. This is our bait of choice. A wedding I caught two weeks ago. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, we got a nice chunk of whiting on. Make sure this, the hook's not covered. This is not a big guard rod. Honestly, it's not even a guard rod in general. It's a bass rod, but maybe we'll get lucky. If we do catch a big one. Oh! The guy came up for it. I saw him. Okay, we got one one in the boat. Oh, he came off. I saw him come up for it too. Good sign, I guess. Good sign. Yep, I got something on. Oh, is that what I think it is? What is that? Yep, it's a huge turtle. Not a huge turtle, but it's a turtle. I think I can just lift this guy up. Before oh, breaking my rod. All right. The problem is, look at the size of my pliers. The size of the turtle, my, I'm, I'm a size eight and a half. That little guy. Hopefully you guys can see him. I'm gonna toss him back. In the water he goes. Oh my God, this guy completely bent my hook because he, he was like clamping down. So, I have to fight with him to get my hook out. Because I don't want, it's easy just to leave them with a hook in their mouth but that's not like that's not what I want to do you know I have just my bait casting because I broke my micromaster so we just have a hook a tiny tiny hook we're here and no weight so we're, we're gonna catch a bait and I'll show you the best bait around. Like I found some already. Look at these guys. That's the best bait around. We got one hooked on. Just like that. Fire ant. I hate fire ants. I caught no bait. Nothing. So we're gonna scratch the bait idea. While we wait for bites, let's see if we can't cook up some food. So I have this, I originally wanted to eat this with like a small tilapia or sunfish or whatever, but I'm not good at fishing so we're just going to eat it as is. 
I think we're just gonna need this like that. Just gonna grab this. Put some water in there. And that's better. We'll see what's in this. So. Oh, that actually comes with a lot of stuff. Here's the sauce. It is like super red sauce. Look at that. There's a lot of powder for this. Cup of ramen. Or bowl of ramen. Okay, that's kind of that's pretty hot, so I think the water's good. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna turn that on. Oh my god, that was a bad idea. Got our, got our fork. Smell test. Smells pretty good. It's pretty good. Would I get it again? Probably not. Because there's better ramens out there. But if someone offered me this, I wouldn't say no. 